Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we are looking at scale factor and similar figures and having a conversation about um, going from one shape to the next and vice versa. So this is problem that I'm pulling this from is CPM. Uh, it is course two, CC2, and this is section uh, 7.1.2 number 7-22. Uh, so it says use the triangles below uh, and right below right to answer the questions that follow. So here's our triangles. So notice we've got triangle A and triangle B. Um, we've got a couple corresponding sides that are labeled. The side here is six. That long side there is five. So part A says uh, what is the scale factor from A to B? Right, so remember the, the one thing you gotta remember, scale factor is being able to take um, a corresponding side, right? So taking a corresponding side, so you would have, um, a, uh, I'll write a, a corresponding side um, from the new over the original. So the whole thing is, it's from the new, okay, all over the same thing, corresponding side. From the original. Okay, so it's, in short, I'll just do it this way. It's always new over original, right? New over original. So if I'm looking at this and I want it to go from A to B, I want to know what is the scale factor from A to B, A being the original, B being the new, right? Going from A to B. If I took A, what did I do to it to make B? Well, the other thing too, is you can think about is from A to B is big to small. So I know I'm going to have to have a, a fraction less than one. So for A, for A, if I'm going... So my scale factor, my SF from new to original A to B. So I'm going to take and go the B over the A. So for, uh, so I'll just write this from, so scale factor from A to B for A, part A here, is equal to what? That, so that length, 5 over 6. Right, so it's from a from b from a to b is taking the new, which is the b over the a, and it's going to be the number that's smaller than one. So then, part b is it wants to know what's the scale factor from uh, b to a, and again from b to a now. So I'm going from b to a. So b is the original, a is the new. B is the original, A is the new, from B to A. So again, that's going to be taking and going the new over the original. So it's going to be, in this case, 6 over 5. Okay? And we notice 6 over 5 is greater than 1, which would make sense because I'm taking the triangle B and it's growing from B to A. So it's got to be bigger than 1. The scale factor has to be bigger than 1. So part C asks us, what is the relationship of the scale factors. Well, if you look at the two scale factors, one is five over six, the other one six over five. So if you remember what that's called, the scale factors, the relationship is they are reciprocals. They are reciprocals of each other. Right, so they're the reciprocals of each other. Okay, so there we have our relationship based on what we saw with those two scale factors. Okay, there you go.